AKB48 is one, if not the most legendary music act in Japan. Originally debuting at the heart of Akihabara, the group has expanded with 13 sister groups, over 100 members in Japan, and over 600 worldwide. To mask their sizable roster are the millions of fans they have across the globe. They have won countless awards, broke legendary records, went on world tours, and have not released a single record that didn't reach 1 million physical sales since 2011. In 2012, the group made $2,200 million from record sales alone and has continued to be one of the highest selling groups in Japan. They are beasts in the music industry and have dominated and transformed Japan's pop culture ever since. Like all systems, however, there are flaws. <laughs> <laughs> On February 1st, 2013, Minegashi Minami, a 20 year old first generation member of the group, was caught by tabloids leaving her boyfriend's apartment. The same day, the agency demoted her to a training student, a position only held by their very young members. As self punishment, Minami shaved her head and apologized and cried profusely to her fans for performing such a selfless act. <laughs> The video was posted to their official website and even reached international borders. A member of a Japanese girl band has shaved her head because of the fact that she's a 20 year old and she had the audacity to have relations with a man. I think it's just a bit too much to do it. This sounds bizarre. A young adult being caught dating in America not only is a norm, but a hot topic that boosts their relevance. However, this is a major taboo when it comes to being an AKB48 member. According to their contract, they are not allowed to date, period. This policy has always been controversial, mostly because their manager writes older songs about love and first kisses when the members would presumably have no idea what this is like. These girls are presented to be youthful, virginal, and especially available. The girls must repress their sexuality in the real world, but actively explore it for their fans on stage. From the way they dress, act, and perform, an image of submission and fantasy is created for the viewer. They have popular annual summer singles where all the girls dress in bikinis on the beach. Their most popular song, Heavy Rotation, has the girls in lingerie passing pastries from mouth to mouth. Many of the girls pose in reviewer photo shoots, essentially posing suggestively in lingerie and swimsuits. This isn't to say women being comfortable in their skin is a bad thing, but what is strange is that these activities include minors of the group. What's even stranger is that their fan base is dominated by middle-aged otaku males intensely dedicated fans on the other side of this often one-sided relationship. The chance of being acknowledged by the girl of their dreams is electric, a moment that gives them completeness, a purpose to strive for. So, if their favorite girl were to be caught dating, then they would have no incentive to support them. Some say that the relationship created isn't inherently creepy. According to recent experts, adult men in Japan are less likely to get married or start families, and live their lives for the most part alone. So, these idols are like daughters, girls they can support. These idols give them an escape, a place to share their obsessions, a place they can restore that loss of masculinity. 
だけマリア訪れますようにアンコール行くぞでも、これは何を言うか分からなかったけど、これは何を言うか分からなかったけど、これは何を言うか分からなかったけど、これは何を言うか分からなかったけど、これは何を言うか分からなかった。And when they reach their 20s, most retire and are replaced with the next batch of girls. There are, according to an ex member, a lot of mentally unwell girls in the group. Some members deal with scrutiny and harassment for not matching the ideal cute image, though many of them are just going through the waves of puberty, struggling to keep up with the glorified images set out for them, often in competition with one another. A more recent incident was when Yamaguchi Maho was stalked and assaulted by obsessed fans, who was later asked by her management to apologize for creating a commotion. <laughs> And the thing is, her own members leaked her phone number and address to the men, yet were unpunished. These girls are just left in the open, left for anyone to do as they please without consequence, for the sake of a clean image. This is not to say that the members are absolutely powerless. Many of the members take advantage of the system to boost their careers, such as Sashi Hararino or Maeda Asuko, majorly popular members who have salaries well in the six to seven figures. And that's simply because the fans will go to extreme lengths to support their girls. There are men who spend $100,000 plus on albums to support their favorite members. After Minami's scandal, many felt this was too extreme and continued to support her regardless, dating ban or not. AKB48, Team Kenkyuse, Minagishi Minami. Could it be that the dating ban is not to hurt the girls, but to help them stay on course for success? And besides, it wouldn't be fair to critique Japan so heavily without considering the treatment of pop stars in America, such as Britney Spears. A girl who was at the time praised for her Christian good girl image. But was constantly under a magnifying glass by the public, while her male counterparts were allowed to do as they pleased. Kagoshima, from the Shinkansen Sakura, I came to meet you. My name is Miyawaki Sakura, I'm 13 years old. Please welcome me. Please welcome me. But still, many of these girls are in middle school signing these contracts. This isn't just a love issue anymore, it's a moral one. Should girls at 13, 12, or 11 be encouraged to join idol groups for the sake of mass appeal and stardom? Many idols don't even get to experience any sort of payoff from their careers. They are promised when signing contracts that they will make money down the line, but work long hours often for nothing.
なんか恵まれてないなって思ってる自分がなんか嫌になってそれで。Many unsuccessful idols become hostesses, sometimes prostitutes, to make ends meet. And many of these activities go unnoticed or unreported due to the many loopholes in child protection laws. Child pornography wasn't even banned in Japan until 2014. And when trying to find another job, they often don't have a college or high school education to be properly considered. <laughs> This is sometimes the only way to succeed in life. Despite the progress over the years, Japan is still very patriarchal and worships purity and traditionalism in women. あの日本人っていうのはもともと男、ね、男性を女性が支えるもの男は守るものっていうような形で。The Global Gender Gap Report announced by the World Economic Forum ranked Japan 120th out of 156 countries in gender equality. Though educational opportunities are more universal, the job market is tricky. Only 9.9 of parliamentary positions and 10% of ministerial positions are held by women. Idling then appears to be the ultimate career. You get praised and paid for being appealing and loyal, playing into cultural values that women are only worth their faces and bodies. And for the many teens in the industry, once they grow into adults, they are useless. AKB48 is making small steps in improving its image, a very confusing and debatable one up to now. To start, they have restricted any girl under 18 from partaking in gravure photo shoots. They have also discontinued using any revealing wardrobe in their singles. But the dating ban still stands, as well as the consequences. To have a career and a potentially successful one, a girl must sign away her youth, her sexuality, her life, in hopes that men will like them enough. It's a culture that's hard to critique when you're not in it, for sure. But what remains universal is the way we treat children and young adults and separate the right from the wrong. And here, no matter the way you look at it, it's arguably off. <laughs>